Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be giving you a tour of my makeup room and just showing you everything that's in here and how I organize my makeup. Now my room isn't 100% aesthetically pleasing, it's more functional. I use this room for doing my makeup on the daily for work and I also film in this room. So everything is set up so that it's easy to use and as I said, functional. But anyway, if you want to have a browse through my makeup collection and see how I organize and store everything, then give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Okay, so starting out, this is what my room looks like from the door. As you can see, I've got my desk, my two soft boxes, and then my camera usually goes in between my soft boxes. I've also got the window facing me so that I can get some extra light for when I'm filming. And then if we go around to the left, I've got a little desk with some items on it. That's what you see in my background. And then next to that table, I have another little white table this just has some random bits and bops on it, but we will go over that in a second. So as you can see, this is what I mean by it's not that aesthetically pleasing. I've got bloody tables everywhere, shit everywhere really. <laughs> All right, so if we start over on this table, I've got a little container just here full of like new makeup that I need to test out or if I wanna use it in videos, things like that. And then in the back in that yellow box is just some new skincare and things that I've been testing out. All right, onto the main desk. So here we have all of my brushes. This container here is actually one of my favorites. I picked it up from Officeworks and it's actually a pen holder. So in the back, you've got the bigger sections and then the front is just divided in two, but you can remove this if you want that section to be bigger. So in here, I keep my Sigma brushes and my Zoeva brushes. This container back here is also a pen holder from Officeworks. I've got just some random brushes, my Morphe brushes and my Real Techniques brushes. And then this little container here is from Kmart. It was in the stationery section and in here are my dirty brushes. So I like to keep them separately just so I know like what I've been using. And once it starts to get full like this, I know I need to do a wash. And then in the middle here, this little wooden I don't, what is this? Little stand? It's from Kmart in the kitchen section. I think it's meant to be for like grazing tables and like a little platter kind of thing, but I thought it just looks so nice in here. This is the kind of aesthetic that I want in here. I'm over the marble and the pink and the fluff. I do want to redo this room and this kind of wood and black, you know, that's more my style now. So in the middle here, I've got my mirror. This is from Kmart. And then I've just got some skincare that I use on the daily. So I've got some moisturizer. This one by Youth to the People is my absolute favorite at the moment. Are you going to focus? As you can see, I am nearly out of this one, but I've got a backup ready to go. Then over here, I've got a bunch of foundation samples that I am trying to get through. And then coming all the way over, this is a little makeup organizer that I picked up from Kmart. This is just full of random crap. So I've got products that I want to retry. My shape tapes are nearly empty, so I use them as um, eyelid primers. Foundation I need to try, I've got my sponges. These are lipsticks that I use quite often. And then I've got a few more products down the front here that I want to test out. So this little holder is quite random, but I like having these products on my desk so that I don't forget about them. And then moving over, I've got a set of Alex drawers just here. And on top in this organizer, I keep all my eyeshadows. I did recently upload a video decluttering my eyeshadow collection. So I'm not going to fully go through this. If you want to see a bit more in depth video, you can go check that out, but I'll just tell you where everything's from. So this up here is a letter organizer from Kmart, but I thought it would be perfect for my palettes, especially this big Too Faced one here. It doesn't fit in my little set of drawers. I think that was only $4, so such a bargain. And then this set of drawers is from Catch of the Day. I have had a look recently and I don't think they sell it anymore. If they do, I'll link it below, but it's not looking good. Anyway, this is just a six drawer acrylic organizer. I keep all my palettes in here. And then in here is just a bunch of random single eyeshadows. 
And then on to the super fun part, my drawers. Okay, so the first drawer. In here I keep my brow products, my mascaras, eyeliners, and then I've got some setting sprays up the back here. Now this little tray, it's also from Ikea. It's a cutlery organizer from the kitchen section. All I had to do was trim the edges just a tiny bit and it fits perfectly. I've also just got this little organizer here, also from Kmart, where I put all my brow gels and then I just sit everything else in these little sections. I think this was one of the best finds for these drawers. I definitely need to get a new one because mine is so filthy. In my second drawer here, I have my bronzers, blushes and powders. So this acrylic organizer is from Vanity Collections. They have heaps of different organizers to choose from and I really recommend them. Their quality is amazing, they're shipping super fast and they do discounts quite regularly so keep your eyes out for that. So for my bronzers I've got quite a mix of drugstore and high end. One of my favorites is definitely the Becca Sunlit Bronzer. I actually hit pan on it the other day. <sighs> I will repurchase this once I use it though. It's absolutely beautiful. I have taken some of the horizontal dividers out from the back so I can fit these bigger products. I've just got like, you know, little contour kits and larger bronzers that don't quite fit in these slots. In my third drawer, I have the same acrylic organizer from Vanity Collections. And in here, I keep my eyelashes and my highlighters. I love highlighters. <laughs> a few of my favorites would definitely be the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. This is in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. It is just a beautiful highlighter. One side's more subtle and the other is more bright. MAC Light Scapade is a classic, especially if you're just after a more natural look. And then the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam by MAC is, oh, it is so beautiful and the color works perfectly for my fair skin. In the middle here, I've got a bunch of more affordable highlighters. As you would have heard me say a million times before, I do struggle finding nice highlighters that are affordable and that suit my fair skin tone. So these ones here are a few that I love. And then I've got some liquid highlighters back here. And I've done the same thing in this drawer. I've taken out the back horizontal slots so I can fit some bigger products like these. Now the next drawer, it looks messy, but it's organized. So this is my base drawer. In here I've got my primers, my color correctors, concealers, and foundations. This organizer, also from Vanity Collections, as you can see it's a little bit different and it's got square shaped slots. Now the slots are quite big, so I do like to put a lot of smaller things in them. So as you can see with my primers, like I've got four of this kind of shape primer in one. I put all my concealers in the same way. So in this slot, I've got my drugstore concealers, my high-end concealers. These are by ColourPop and these are by Makeup Revolution. And then down here, I've just got some cream contouring products, my color correctors, as I said, and then a whole bunch of primers. Back here, I also keep my spare beauty blenders. So these fit perfectly in the little squares. And then over here, all my foundations. My favorite foundations at the moment are the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour and I am really loving the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop as well. And then the last drawer is a little bit more empty. I've got these lipstick holders here, you guessed it, by Vanity Collections. So this one is bigger for your lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, things like that. And then this is a shorter one for your bullet style lipsticks. Now through Vanity Collections, you can actually buy a full drawer organizer like this one for your lipsticks. But as you can see, I don't have that many, which is why I just have the individual little ones here. And then in here, this is a makeup organizer from Kmart. 
I've got some of my lip liners that I can't actually stand up because the drawer won't shut. And then I've got like tweezers, lash glue, sticky tape, scissors, lots of random things like that. I hope you enjoyed watching today and having a little peek into my makeup collection. If you want me to go deeper into any of the drawers, let me know and I can do dedicated videos to my highlighters or my foundations or anything like that that you want to see. All right, well, that is all from me. I will try and link as much as I can down below in the description box for you. And if you have any other questions about the things in my room or any of the products you may have seen, then just leave me a comment down below. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.